Yeah, they're busy. They're gonna do the poles for, for us to our land. So. Today I'm gonna pull my line starting from that post all along to that post, 50 meters. So I'm gonna do my three lines top middle bottom, I'm gonna start with my bottom one, bottom and bottom. Just gonna tie it up over there and then all over that side. So it looks like that. Just to keep your line up a bit for your fencing, you let nicely in spot where it's meant to be. I have three lines. Adjust it later a little bit and I make it a little bit more tighter on the on the poles. So I have to do that side, the middle one. Go and pull it too tight. Or you pull everything out of the ground, you're making your poles totally skew. These ones are here just to take the, 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 the weight or the pressure off your middle single little post. They're only there to keep your, your fence up, your corner ones, and this one here. I did every 25 meters, depends what the distance is between the two. Then I'll put a middle post, little one, put my sides on the ends. So yeah, one more. And let me see if I can put 30 meters of fencing up. Very hard today, but let's see what we can do. And I've each line nicely tightened it up there. All along, 50 meters long. to my end post over there and I still got 65 meters another 57 meters and the front another 65 okay there's the one 30 meter roll I've got Six of the rolls, six of those rolls to put on here. Okay, let me get sorted. Take some time to do a bit of fencing. Now all of these funny things to sort out like this. These rolls never come in in a nice way. So you always have to bend it right. So it looks a bit decent, so when you pull it tight, it'll be tight. So good a far away to go. Okay. Done this side now. Show you what I use to make it nice and tight. Still need to put in the wire, small one, a binding wire, to make it 
here against the side. I'll make one of these things. I made it myself. Got a board here, and I'll pull the whole fence so it makes it nice and tight. And I use a ratchet. And I put a board across here, flat board. That pulls it this way, and a round board going all the way down, and that pull it all together. See, they already start cutting these trees down here to clear the lines. A lot of work. I do a great job. I'm going to do the next 30 meters. I've done that yesterday. From there to here, that's 30 meters. I'm gonna do the next, it's about 15 meters left here, 14 meters. And then we'll go from there to my middle spot over there and I pull my three lines across so that will support, like here, that support my fencing. Now I just need to make it a bit more tighter, pull it a bit more tighter, yeah, and tie up the fence. Seems like I can only do one roll a day, so it'll take me like the whole week to get finished because that's a far way to go. To that corner there, all the poles are done, that corner there, and then to that open spot there, there's a gate, and from there to the corner again. Then we're done. I quite like the chain link fencing, there's nothing else you can get and it doesn't help you fencing your property off of bob wire because um, I'm going to have dogs and the dogs will come out and I don't want the dogs to run around and bite other people so even that we're on the farm we would rather do the right way pull the three lines from there right across a bit more than half of the to the other gate now i just need to make sure there's a line tie up those those ones over there each pole so my line is nice and straight and then i'll put my fencing up up to this point I just need to pull it tight and put my binding wire on it.
I want to make it too tight. I have to have some play in it. And uh, just bind it up now. So yeah, this thing helps a lot. It makes your job very really nice and easy. Yeah, now I'm just gonna tie up my wire. So I can release my puller now, it's nice and tight, done all it, put them nicely on top, I do every meter I put one, top, middle and bottom, okay that's it, done for today, come back tomorrow and I'll finish up going this way. Maybe I'm lucky I can finish to the end. So maybe end of the week will be completely finished. Okay. It's always nice. It's not nice starting it. It makes you just think in your mind that you've got a far way to go, but when you go that 30 meters up and you have to turn the last piece of wire and it looks like this then you're feeling good let's see how the poles look today so far they have cut the trees down <laughs> 